Bug, s'il vous plaît no. I just want to say, this is crazy <laughs> oh, I must say this was crazy, right, Bogdan? Uh, yeah, I think it's can, can we hear us? No. Yeah? No? No, we can hear <laughs> but people can hear us. Yeah, people can hear us, yes. perfect. No, this... Oh my god, I have no words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's this difficult to do an interview it's, it's right after. It's so this difficult to speak after the party. Oh my god, no. <laughs> How do you feel? <sighs> I, I, Derek, for me, this was um, very important. Like this, this event, we know, we spoke about it, we yeah. prepared a lot. And because 
the the fact that I'm Romanian and this is the Romanian embassy in Paris and I live in Paris. For me it was it's it just a major event that had to be perfect and it's it's something that is really touches my heart, really. And really. I think it was perfect tonight. <laughs> I don't know. Right? I, I, yeah. I I hope. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it was so much emotion and so much energy from the people that um I don't know what's what's happening right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really special. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. and um, and I heard that you oh, you almost missed the flight, right? Yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, we, yesterday, <laughs> yesterday I was in Odessa in yeah. Ukraine, yeah. and uh, uh, let's say it somehow I didn't manage to get the flight. But this is the, that was not my fault, you know. Uh, they forgot me in a car. Uh, the 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 airport crew forgot me in a car. I was the last one to get in the plane, you know. Really. <laughs> so they forgot me in a car. Uh, and you and saw uh, the plane leaving. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I saw the plane leaving, and I, the, you know what was in my mind? I was like, "No, tomorrow I have circle. <laughs> I'm gonna miss it." <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> no, no, big, big problem. So somehow, I managed to be here. You know, yes. like. No, but you're, it was you're, like you did an amazing set. And yeah, thank you it. very much. Yeah, no, it was like, uh, yeah, I had to be here. This is very important for me, and yeah, and and um, you you played this year and last year in uh, some of the most uh, famous clubs around the world, but. How how is it different to play here if for two thousand uh, two hundred people in an embassy? You know, uh, for me, I really like uh, small venues with two two hundred, three uh, hundred people, four hundred, maximum five hundred, let's say, yeah. because the vibe it's so much different than big crowds. Yeah. Um, you know, like when you have a crowd like two hundred people, three hundred people, they they get together really fast and they they know about you you know it's it's different than yeah, when you have a big crowd so the vibe is because any every everyone that is at that party they know what you're playing they know your music it's not like mass events you know so it's the the vibe is so much different than yeah, than, than let's say big parties so i for me uh, my personal opinion about this i prefer smaller parties maximum 500 people let's say yeah, yeah, yeah. but Yeah. And, and tonight you prepared uh, differently because tonight there was it was uh, yeah oh my god I prepared oh yes <laughs> let's say th this this set I have prepared it before yeah, yeah because of course. it had to be perfect and but nothing goes like uh, let's say if you prepare something I I already changed a lot of things yes. tonight I, I was I wanted to play some tracks but then I changed my mind because the vibe was different the room was different and so on yeah but it was amazing. Uh, and and <laughs> amazing, <laughs> it was amazing. And uh, so there, there are a lot of uh, people asking questions uh, online. Really? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, uh, so the first, yeah, um, yeah. This question from Max: How did this space affect your track track selection? How did the venue affect your track selection? Yeah, I mean it's a it's a small smaller venue. Yeah. The vibe is different, so it's not. I mean, I want it. Uh, it's some tracks that are a bit more techno that I usually will not play in location like this because small location and small venues, you need to be very careful with the vibe. So um, I try to have uh, a few tracks that I wanted to play. Then I had a backup to think about it. Like, eh, okay, this is a small location, small venue, 200, 300 people. Maybe I want to change the vibe during the set to be a bit more smooth, you know. Mm, so yeah, that, that, that's it. You know, I think as a DJ, you need to to be always ready and you need to adapt yes. to the situations. Perfect. Like, no, no, it's not very like every day you're gonna play big venues. Yes. Hey, if you are spo play small venues, you don't need to bang the people like with big techno. You yeah. Know? yeah. <laughs> of course. You need to be a bit smooth to them to try to build the set, the journey. And um, a question about producing music question from Flo. Which devices are you using for, to make music? Uh, yeah, good question. I am, uh, we guys, I, mo most of it, I, I mean, I know people that have big studios and uh, they don't produce that many tracks. And I know people that, uh, like, I know a French guy. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Oliver Giacomotto. Yeah. He, from what I know, he never used any synthesizer or something he uses plugins you know yeah. and he his music is amazing so I don't, I don't think it's about 
it's about uh, the the gear you have i think yes. it's about the ideas and your inspiration and everything but you you, you Nowadays, we are in 2019 already. You can use a computer to make music. Yes. You have oh, a yeah, lot of VSTs, yes. plugins. Now you have these guys from uh, uh, Apollo that are having this uh, uh, um, audio interface that you can master, mix, and everything. And it, it's not about uh, this. Uh, the time we're living in is not about only about like back in the days the synthesizer. Okay. Synthesizer, right? hands-on control, it's perfect you, if you are a gear freak. But then you can make music with uh, plugins as well. Across. But it's all about, it's not about the, the gear you have. It's about the this and this, the year. Yes. That's all that matters. Yes, right. Yeah. And uh, tonight you played some amazing tracks from you, f unreleased tracks. Yeah, I played uh, a few tracks from my label as well, uh, from myself and from people that uh, I support, friends, and not only from people that I like uh, the music they're doing. Uh, so yeah. And um, your music has been played by really big, big, big artists. Which one is the you are most uh, proud of? Like which artist? Uh, played your track and you are the most proud. Um, proud yeah, no, for me the biggest one. The, also because I have, a, a f uh, you know, John Digweed. Oh yeah. He's the one of the guys that believed in me because I met him and he, he's one of the guys that really helped me. And without him, I would have not been here today actually, as he was one of the guys that helped me a lot. Uh, and gave me advices and I mean he's John Digweed is yes. like he, what better advice can you have I yes, mean of course, he's yeah. one of the pioneers Zen Vate, Carl Cox, John Digweed you know Richie all these guys and this guy was for me is like one of the biggest mentors ever so this is the my I mean this is one of the guys that I really appreciate the most you know one, at the top you know and I think tonight a lot of uh, young producers are watching and Um, what would be your advice, for example? How did you manage to get to John Digweed, for example? How, wh what would be your advice? Oh man, it just, you know, it's, it's this, this industry is emotionally for all the people is very difficult. I don't know if everyone, Up and down. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if, if, if people speak about this, this that much, but for me it was a roller coaster. It was like this up, down, up, down. And for your physical, it's really tough, you know? <laughs> you, you need to, to be. My advice for, for, for the guys that are producing music and uh, doing this, this job is just be patient. Be patient and never give up. Even if you have up, downs, up, downs, just be patient and know what you are trying to do. Just know and uh, think about what you are trying to do. Just don't go, okay, tonight, today I'm going to play tech house, tomorrow I'm going to play progressive house, tomorrow I'm going to play techno. Know your road, focus on your what, what do you want to do, and stay on your track, and never give up, and be patient. Patience is is everything what you need. It's gonna be slowly, it's gonna be it's gonna take time, but don't give up. Don't give up. Okay, cool. Um, and also, I wanted to speak about Romania because here we are in the yeah, Romanian embassy. Romania. This uh, is so crazy. I'm 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 living in Fer uh, in Paris, and I play in Romanian embassy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Technically, technically you are in Romania, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically, I'm in Romania. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, and so, for example, my question is: what What is your favorite Romanian food? My favorite Romanian. Everyone knows this. <laughs> Sarmale. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> It's the best Romanian food ever. Sarmale. I don't know it, so I will try. <laughs> Yo, you, Derek, you have to try. I will try. It's amazing. <laughs> It's amazing. We have uh, there is uh, also some restaurants, Romanian restaurants in Paris. Sarmale, people that are watching this, they know <laughs> it's <Yeah>. the best. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, also, uh, last question: I think that uh, some of your friends came from Bucharest uh, for you know, tonight. The, for this event, I have uh, 12 friends that came, especially from Bucharest. They took the plane, and they, you play circle. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. You know, 12 friends. The, one of my biggest friends, and I really appreciate the fact that they came from Romania for me. This is very, it touches me, you know? Yeah, I understand. It, it, uh, you have to play, f you have to pay the flight, you have to play the, pay the hotel, you know? So they, they did 
this for me and I really appreciate it. And what will you show them in Paris tomorrow, uh, for example? <laughs> I don't know. They already visited a few things without me, like uh, Musée du Louvre and uh, most of the stuff. But uh, after a circle, I think we're going to have a small after party. Uh, uh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> you know, so they, I think they like this more than the cultural things. Okay. <laughs> they're clubbers, they're clubbers. They know a lot of music. Okay, well, thank you very much uh, for tonight. It was really good to have you to start this year, 2019. Uh, thank you. We are really happy. To it was my pleasure. Uh, to have you tonight. And there is a little uh, uh, tradition at Circle. It's the mystery box. It's a yeah. gift for you. I and know uh, that. So, uh, <laughs> so I will give uh, the, mi the, the mic to, to Donia nice. from here. Thank you. Uh, the Romanian Cultural Institute and uh, the Romanian Embassy uh, we are uh, very happy to have had you here tonight. We present you the magic box. It is a present specially made for the occasion. Oh, it is thank a you. portrait uh, of Bog made by the artist Really? Oh. Yes. And uh, I invite His Excellency the Ambassador to offer him this gift. Okay. Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> I never, I never, nobody did this for me. <laughs> never. I mean, it's. Thank you very much. Mulțumesc. Vă mulțumesc foarte mult și. Da. Vă mulțumesc. Chiar a fost. Adică nu cred că au mai fost atâția tineri pentru astfel de ambianță. Da. A fost. Cred. Consider și eu că a fost ceva destul de special. Adică. Inedit în orice caz. E o premieră pentru ambasada română. Vă mulțumim frumos și da. Mulțumesc pentru cadou. And, and thank you very much to the Romanian Embassy, to the Romanian uh, Cultural Institute, to the French Cultural Institute. Thank you very much to, to them uh, to support us and to accept uh, to do this kind of shows here. It's, uh, it means a lot for us. Yeah. So thank you very much. Thank and, you. and thank you to our, our partners that uh, will come up on the screen and, and we'll, see you, we'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>